Alright guys and welcome to season 4 episode 11 of this AFC Wimbledon Manager Mode Create. Now, just want to start off to say an absolutely massive thank you to Pro Paying Games. I mean, what a legend he is for, for giving me the shout out and obviously the amount of subscribers that I've now got, the amount of new people that have come and just like comment on all of, all the videos granted off of the comments of propane army and thumbs up if you sent propane here and everything i completely do not mind that at all because he is an absolute star for doing you know for doing what he did and giving me a shout out because it's helped me so much i mean i had like less than 100 subscribers before when i started talking to him and then obviously when he started talking to me we started interacting and i did the thumbnails for him and then obviously he gave me a shout out and i've now got something like over 250 subscribers or something crazy like that i can't actually remember so it's absolutely phenomenal the response that you guys have given me from propane games and obviously it's just absolutely crazy what has happened so i was just i wanted to take the first like minute or two of the video just to thank um, just to thank you all for that and for what you have done. So anyway, and also, actually, before I move on, just an even bigger thank you to everyone who was here before Propane Games sent everyone. So yeah, I mean they've they've like stood by the stood stood by the series and they've just like really supported me. And all the comments have been absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, I'm just gonna crack on with the league action now. And our first game is against Leighton Iron. I know it's a bit of a shorter episode because I've only got three games in, so that's all I could have time to record and edit and everything. So yeah, obviously I do apologise for having the shorter episode. Episode, but I'm sure you won't mind. It's still got the three games in, and straight away in the game, Adameno takes him, um, takes the ball well in his stride and turns the defender and puts it into the bottom corner. So five minutes gone, we were one 0 up against Leighton Orient, and yeah, I mean, great start to the game. You can't really ask for much better. And then in the 26 minute, we got forward again. Adameno yet again turned the defender, gave it to Luke Moore, and Luke Moore fired it into the back of the net. So in under half an hour, we were two 0 up at home to Leighton Orient. I was feeling pretty confident about holding the lead and or even extending the lead and obviously trying to improve my goal difference which could also be vital at the end of the season but that didn't really happen because in the 65th minute they got forward with Craig Westcar who's an absolute demon on FIFA 12 he ran through my whole defence and the keeper had to make a decent save it wasn't a top draw save but it was a decent save and we did manage to get it away and then just after that bit of action I decided to change things up a bit I decided and I brought on Jack Midson Atakasuka, I think is his first name, Hagiwara and Brendan Kinnan. And they, they they did help my team out actually a bit, you know, give him a bit of fresh legs. And as you can see there in the 80th minute, Jack Minson had a decent save, but the keeper, you know, dived to his, uh, dived to his right. Yeah, dive to his right, and he's pulled off with a decent save. But the game did finish AFC with Mullen 2, late and Orient nil. So a great first result, obviously, and... Like I said, like I always say, can we crack on, get on a bit of a running form, get a winning streak going and see if we can push through before the last playoff place. Because honestly, if we don't get into the playoffs this season, I'd feel a bit wasted because I've used my first teamers in order to get promotion this season. So if we don't even get in the playoffs, it'll be a bit frustrating because I could have just used my youth team and obviously got them improved. But anyway, just signing some scout, um, some people that my scout found it from Croatia. <laughs> I actually didn't realise that I was using up a lot of my transfer budget and the last person I tried to sign I couldn't actually sign because I just did not have the money I couldn't get the 25 grand in the 500 pound wage budget which is what you need to sign a youth player so that's a bit frustrating and we're gonna have to make our money somehow but I'm not really sure how but anyway moving on to the league action against Bournemouth as you can see there um, in like this was at half time by the way the possession for them was 63% to 37% which is just ridiculous I mean I know, I know they're the home team and everything, but honestly, I could not get the ball off them at all. And we were quite lucky in the 52nd minute because here, Barrett just makes an, a complete cock of it, just slides completely, misses the ball. Luke Moore runs on, gets the gets the ball, and puts it into the back of the net. It was a great finish in the 54th minute by Luke Moore. Don't get me wrong, it was like really well placed onto the inside of the post and into the back of the net. So we took a 1-0 lead, but we had like literally none of the ball. And the funny thing is, is they had all the possession, but not a single shot, whereas we had quite a lot of shots. And then in the 84th minute, this was their first shot of the game. Mark Pugh got it on the wing. He put in a decent cross and Stockley headed it onto the inside of the post, but this time for them it came out and Charles Williams, I think, managed to get it clear. So the game did finish Bournemouth nil, AFC Wimbledon 1. But um, it was like crazy. I mean, look at the possession, 65% and 35% for me. I had six shots. Not one of them was on target. I don't really know how that works out, especially seeing as their shot was on target. 
We both hit the post. Mine wasn't on target and mine went in. Theirs was on target and it didn't go in. So how FIFA has worked that out, I will never know. And then we moved on to the final game of the episode against Crawley Town and wow, this was absolute dire game. I mean, they had a chance in the 28th minute and the keeper saved it well and then Dijali had a chance in the 33rd minute, put it past the post. And yet again, they had all the possession in the first half, 67% to my 33%. And we came out, they came out in the second half and had the best chance of the half where um, Barnett ran through on goal but the keeper saved it well, went out for a corner and... That was literally all I could find. I mean, I was I was even contemplating putting that, but it'd have been about a three minute episode if I if I'd have just gone. Oh yeah, by the way, I drew nil nil with Crawley Town. So weren't the best results because they are bottom of the league. They are rock bottom of the league, and it was really frustrating game. But as you can see, we are still sitting seventh in the league. We are five points behind Shrewsbury Town, and I'm confident of doing it because we've got to play Shrewsbury Town at the end of this month. So if we can beat them, then we'll be like two points behind and then obviously it only takes a few more points to be dropped by them and us to pick up the points so I think we can actually get into the playoffs get promoted and get to the championship it's going to be hect hectic if we do and it'll probably be undeserved if you like as well because we've not been good at all all season especially defensively and sometimes in the games attackively so yeah I mean this is where I'm going to end the episode guys and as always a massive thank you to everyone that has liked the videos commented on the videos and subscribed to my channel so yeah as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next episode. Peace!